Bash Crandicoot. What's up? How's it going? Booty Doos, down up. Booty Doo Mitch. What's up, man? How's it going? Hey, what's up, Exalted Lord Micah Purdue? I just saw your message that you just completed this, which is great. You completed it in under four hours. I've played it um, off and on today, and um, I don't know how much time I've got in it, but I don't think I'll be beating this game tonight. Vash the Stampede Coot. Whoa, what's up, Doc? I like that Vash the Stampede reference there. I like that Trigon reference. How are y'all doing tonight? Good, I hope. I don't have much, uh, I don't know. I don't have a lot of faith that I'm going to finish this game tonight, so I should probably go ahead and just get started. Boom. Game. Look at all this game. Boom, face. How's it going? I'm Dave. You know me. Probably. If you don't, I'm Dave. One half of Tadpog. It's a podcast about video games sometimes. Micah, you're here to help me? All right, dude. Well, I need, I'm going to need the help for sure. So much game. I'm playing on Switch, which uh, feels dirty. It feels dirty to be playing this PlayStation game on a Nintendo console. I love it. Oh, no, I don't want to continue on a new game. Oops, off to a really bad start. I want to start it from the beginning. So much game and a Dave, too. It's a tiny Dave in the corner. All right. Sorry, y'all. I'm going back. I'm closing this bad boy out. You splurged, Doc, and bought Chrono Trigger, Castlevania, Portrait Ruin, and Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow for the DS. Man, that Castlevania, though. That Chrono Trigger. I'm all about it. Hey, what's up, Dr. Drunk? How's it going, man? Thanks for the package that you sent with Caveman Games that we opened on the most recent episode. I think that was probably the most recent episode with Chris from work. Hey, what's up, Dig Dougie? No, not technical difficulties, just a little case of user error. Activision presents a smashing blast from the past. Hey, now we get to hear that. A smashing blast from the past named Crash. Developed by Vicarious Visions. This is all in the original, right? So, I've never played Crash Bandicoot before today. I had watched uh, Chocto play it a little bit before, and I think I'd watched Micah play it a little bit before too, but... That's pretty much it. Other than the commercials that I remember seeing of the... The man in the Bandicoot costume, uh, I don't know much about it. And a little bit of Wikipedia-ing. You doing alright tonight, Dig Dougie? Thanks for joining us, man. Yo, Dr. Drunk with the resub. Thanks, man. That's 10 months in a row. Sub baby plus a month. We got a one month old. That's not where we want to be. Starting a new game will overwrite the autosave slot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's overwrite the save. Hey, what's up, Quizmaster Matt? How's it going, dude? Bovine Bear in the house. Not much, man. Just playing some, just playing some Crash. But Dr. Cortex, we haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron. This Bandicoot will be my general. The General Bandicoot. Commandos to world domination. This time, I shall reign triumphant. <laughs> Tiger, koala, kangaroo, bandicoot. Quickly, into the vortex. <laughs> Doctor Cortex, the vortex is not ready. Into the vortex, Cortex. <laughs> All right. If there's ever a live-action Crash Bandicoot movie, then we need Tim Curry. As, as in head. Uh -oh. Prepare the 
female bandicoot. No, not the female bandicoot. Stop stock up on all the extra lives I can. Yes. We've got a new would you rather. Would you rather have two belly buttons or one nipple? Dr. Drunk says two belly buttons because he'd be pissed off if his wife didn't bite both the nips. Yo, Kana. Hey, I appreciate the host. How are you doing tonight? The female bandicoot would be Ruxin's wife from the league. I thought you were talking about Teddy Ruxpin for a minute. I was like, oh man. Teddy, keeping it, keeping it interspecies. Uh, I gotta get these apples. So I've I've heard that this game originally didn't have all these crates in it. Like before it initially released, it didn't have it didn't have crates. And then they decided that it was uh, Naughty Dog decided that it was there's not a lot going on in the world without crates, so they added crates. I don't know if that's true or not. And I think um, Crash was a, n originally named Willy, Willy the Wombat. Which I mean, I know what a wombat is. I, I don't really know what a bandicoot is. Yo, Zal. <laughs> Thanks for the sub, man. Best stream on Twitch. That is, that is insanity. Hey, what's up, Edgelord Kyle? How's it going, man? Regardless, Sal, I, pr I appreciate it. I do. You're very kind. I'm glad that you are here. I'm glad that you're all here to witness me struggle through Crash Bandicoot. I'm already one life down. That's not good. Doc says one nipple means I have one less body part to get snagged on something. An extra belly button means more cleaning. Um, I don't know if you guys are ready for my answer or not, but I don't want two belly buttons. I don't really want one nipple either. I'd rather have two nipples. I do like both of them equally. They're like my children. Come on, man. Uh, but I don't really like my belly button. I, I don't really have a, what you would call a, a flat tummy. <laughs> I'm not core, I haven't, I haven't core blasted. So, um, I'd rather, I'd rather just have one nipple, I think. Than have to dig around in two cavernous belly buttons. <laughs> Kyle, you're about to head to bed. Well, dude. Thanks for uh, thanks for popping in and saying hey, man. You know it's always good to always good to see you. I know I'm supposed to crash supposed to crash a bunch of these crates. Um, it's kind of a big deal apparently. Hey, I hit a turtle with the other turtle. Uh, I do think it's interesting that the game starts out with a whole bunch of, like, Mario-style enemies. We got turtles. There will be piranha plants soonish. So I think that's kind of... I think that's kind of interesting. Hey! Mitch, thanks for the bits, man. That puts you on the board, I think. I probably put you top. This has been a very, very uh, lackluster month uh, for bits. For bitties. Well, we got an extra life at least. But that's okay. This is not about bitties. 
45 out of 49, huh? Man. Man. 46. 47. Man, it sucks because it's like... I know where they are. I know where they are. They're right around here. Hey! Whoa! Dr. Drunk taking number one on the board. 100 biddies. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it, man. They're right there. Uh, this is impossible. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's up, one old gamer? How's it going? Good to see you again. I'm here tonight sans, sans Jacob, as you can see. No Jacob next to me. Uh, Mitch! Mitch! Taking the number one spot. Thanks for the biddies. Thanks for making uh, first time caller Nate appear. Um... I'm gonna have some new art soonish. Uh, Nate's staying in, but I gotta figure out. Um, gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with these waifu pillow sh <laughs> photos that we've got. We went ahead and took care of that. More biddies. Doctor Drunk, thank you, sir. Do we have a do we have a bits race going on now? Kana, thank you for the biddy. I appreciate it. I get kept up on. I'm gonna catch him on chat. I do have a Buddha belly. It sucks, man. It sucks being like um, kind of skinny. I'm kind of skinny. I'm not like real skinny. I'm like. Oh God. No matter my no matter my weight, um, I always have like at least a little bit of a belly. It sucks. Edge Lord Kyle. Holy God Almighty. Holy Bruce Almighty, 500 biddies, thank you. Um, I should complain more, often. <laughs> Mitch, thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> All right, note to self, complain more. There we go, we got a gym, look at us. Mitch, with 400 biddies, holy shit. Things are going crazy in here. I'm not Barbie skinny. And <laughs> Dave says he's not real skinny because he's real girl skinny, says Doc. Thanks for the bits, everybody. Uh, I appreciate it. That's very cool of y'all. What do we what do we say about it? Hold on, I gotta catch up on stuff. All Connor says all I know about Crash is that hey, plumber boy. I know, right? I remember seeing that one all the time. I think during like Beavis and Butthead or something. Uh, let's see. What else did I miss? Uh, I think, Zal, you can choose whether the belly, the belly button's in or outie. Or you, it's got to be, like, whatever you have, it has to be another version of that. So if you've got an Audi, it has to be another Audi. Is that fair? And yes, I to totally boot a belly. You can tell, um, if you go in Tadpog Nation a really long time ago, first prom, uh, first Louisville Arcade Expo is that I went cosplaying as Toad, and I was probably this skinniest I've been in my 30s and uh, still I have a, an enormous gargantuan belly button because I've got this like just this just this roll of fat just around my midsection it's pretty awesome it's great <laughs> Dr. Drunk says this sucks my wife is watching sex in the city so I'm stuck watching the, the Pats Chiefs on my phone while I watch Dave I never really got into Sex in the City. I know Tyler liked it a lot. And then there's the Biddy Storm. Thank you all for the for the the itty biddies, the itty biddies. Said Dig Dougie. Okay, Micah says you'll never get all the boxes until you beat the game. So I should stop worrying about the crates. Well, Kyle, I'm glad that you're back, man. It's good to it's good to see you. I know. Um, I know I'm not streaming an NES game tonight. I know that's your I know that's your specialty. <laughs> yeah. Uh I, Geppetto made me as a sex doll and I came to life. It's true, Doc Doc Coyote. Dad bod isn't sexy, says Dr. Drunk. Mom bod is sexy, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. 
Hey, Maxon, chilling out, Maxon, relaxing all cool. How's it going, dude? Mom, dad, body is super hot. This is Dr. Chuck. Hey, Stream Queen Justine. Lurking. All right. Well, cool. Thanks for being here. Good to see you. It's been a while. I hope you're doing well. I hope school is going amazing. You're doing some D&D &D stuff. Cool. School is good. Great. You, you were, you got in front of that. Henry is pretty good. He's kind of rebellious today. I'm not going to get into it. Hey, Nicholas. Hola. How are you? Nicholas Otaku. Um, I don't really know the characters on Sex and the City, uh, Dr. Drunk, but the brunette is pretty smoking. Uh, no, I don't think, I don't know that Tyler has ever told me what character from Sex and the City I am. Probably that nerdy guy, uh, who had the hots for the redheaded woman, Miranda, I think her name was, right? All right, what are those skunks? I like them. Little Pepe, little Pepe Le Pews. All right. See, there's a little piranha plant action. Hey, plumber boy. I stole all your, stole all your enemies. It kind of reminds me of a... Uh, I mean, Donkey Kong Country as well, of course. I'm invincible. Try and stop me. You won't need to. I'm sure I'll fall into a pit on my own accord. And by that, I mean Honda Accord. <laughs> this this stream sponsored by Honda. Accord. Think about it. That's my That's my marketing message. On a real tip, though, uh, when we were test driving cars, I'd never driven an Accord before. We test drove an awful Accord. Uh, it was tr it was like in really bad shape, but it drove really well. I blew myself up. So that message wasn't brought to you by. That's not a sponsored message. That's just Dave. Real talk. All right. Look at us. We collected three Lady Bandicoots. So we're gonna go into this unknown dimension. And listen to some rockin' tunes. No! All right, Micah says, yep, skip full box completion. Whoa, lordy. Lordy, wody. All right. We will skip that shit. I'm still going to try to collect as many as I can. You know, just because. Just because it's me. I'm missing three. Oh, well. I don't know where they are. Guys, we're about to see a bandicoot get hit by three boxes. Great! But you missed three boxes. Hey, what's up, Ben? How's it going, man? Very excited for this week's guest. Yeah, me too. We haven't had Micah on the show in a really long time. Ben from Street Beats, everybody. I need to listen to that. Um, I need to listen to that Nerdy Thursday Street Pizza Super Smash Brothers Ultimate podcast. I haven't listened to that yet. I saw the... Facebook post earlier today. And it was after my shower, so. How is that relevant information, you ask? Well, because I listen to podcasts in the shower. <laughs> there you go. Mystery solved. So this is one thing I noticed that I think is ow, kind of interesting is how they changed the perspective in this game a lot. I mean, the last two levels we played, they were straight up like camera was behind Crash. 
Uh, and now it's just set at the side. And we're doing some Mario style platforming. Uh, the, uh, so I can't move the camera at all. It's a fixed, it's a fixed camera on every stage, uh, which is different, right? It's different. It's certainly a different take than Mario 64, which I think I, damn, I'm supposed to use that one, uh, to get that. Oh, well, I think Mario 64 and Crash Bandicoot came out within like two months of each other. I'm not positive, but I think Mario 64 beat it by like, I think Mario 64 came out first. So it's interesting because like, I've heard it posited that like 3D platforming games could have gone like one of two directions. Uh, they could have gone the Mario 64 route or they could have gone the Crash Bandicoot route and they went the Mario 64 route. I guess for the most part. Although this like this part kind of reminds me of like Kirby for the 64. With the 2.5D platforming. I missed a Lady Bandicoot. Yeah, I'm going really slow. Okay. Bonus areas don't consume lives, says Mika. That is good to know. You're trying to figure out your next cars too, Dr. Drunk. Your wife is enamored with the with the Audi Q5. Uh, I don't I'm not familiar with that because I am not a wealthy man. <laughs> I know the brand. Do not know the model. Your poor bank account. Yeah, man. Yeah, so uh Ben, tell me what's the I know Kyle's been posting that, uh admin. Please delete if self promotion, uh, which I think is funny. What's the uh, what's the story behind that? Who is giant compared to Crash? You hate it when you miss the box. Shower cast trademark. Oh god, right. Okay. Cover your heart, Indy. Wrong movie. Bye, Apple. Just gonna leave that Apple right there. So now we've got the camera pointed straight at us. Which, I mean, makes the gameplay completely different. Which is, I guess, great. I mean, from the viewpoint of having varied gameplay uh, but it's also kind of annoying because it's kind of like oh god I have to learn how to play the game way differently now well we did it I think we missed one box Paul Cluel of what's Paul playing today how's it going man good to see you how are you What is up, Actual Mark? Good to see you too, man. What is the last thing you wash in the shower? Asks Actual Mark. Um, my... F I don't know, man. I was going to say my feet, but I'm going to be real with you. Sometimes what I do is I just chill in the shower. I, the water's hot. I mean, the water's all the way, like the faucet all the way to the left. It's steamy in there. I take really hot showers for as long as I possibly can until essentially until the water um, isn't hot anymore. So what I'm trying to say is I'm essentially a teenage girl. Um, what's the last thing I wash? It kind of depends, man. Sometimes, sometimes feet. Uh, if it's a shower that I'm just staying in there for like forever, like I've really got a long time. Um, I don't know, man. I'll just wash. Probably just probably my chest, probably my Dave chest a couple times. 
I'll kind of forget. Sometimes I'm in there so long I forgot. I I just rewash everything, essentially. You know. Nothing too weird. I'm not in middle school anymore. <laughs> I'm a man. I can do things in this office <laughs> where I stream. I can't take a shower in here, though. Not, not yet. Oh, right. Why don't we do this? Just a running joke between the boys. All right, I get it. I get it. A little inside. A little inside. Dave, Dave shall not know. I'm cool with that. All right, we done. We done got all them fucking crates. <laughs> oh yeah, she is giant compared to Crash. Now I understand what Doc was saying. She's very tall. She's a very tall Bandicoot. I like them tall. I like my Bandicoots tall. I like my Lady Bandicoots tall. I like my male Bandicoots shorter than me. That's a power thing. <laughs> Didn't collect enough crates. Hey, what's up, Lumpkin Bear? Should have been a chupacabra. He was a wombat. A weendigo. Paul, this says the music just made me panic for a second thinking my work phone was ringing, right? I know, man. I had, okay, so when I was setting the stream up, I had my headphones off and on the desk, right? But the volume was loud enough where I could hear it coming out. And I walked into the room and I heard the music and I thought, I was like, is someone calling Nikki? What's going on? Like, it's really rare people call us. Like, if someone calls me or her, it's usually an emergency. Little sleepy boy. Little napping boy. Can't remember which way he spins. Okay, that way. Butt crack. Man. Dumb thick. Oh shit. Thick boss. Alright. One more hit. Uh oh, can I just stand up on that throne? Oh shit. I am on your th I'm on your throne! Throwing him up! Paul says last thing I watched in the shower is genitals hands down. Hands down? <laughs> uh I mean yeah, sometimes. Sometimes we'll watch that guy a couple times. Actual Mark says Dave is a spicy boy through and through. I thought maximum H was for punishing stepchildren in the 20s. I do like it hot. And <laughs> Matt's a stream while showering, like when Kramer cooked while he showered. Mm. Alright, Micah says those bonus areas service checkpoints too. That is really good to know. You're gonna climb or get out the grappling hook. Think you can cook? I got a grappling hook. Whoa, Zal, Urban Dictionary to Wumpa. Wumpa, a term created after an epic video game player named Big Wumpa. Wumpa is often used to describe someone who is just amazing at everything, never loses, and simply knows all. My goodness. Yeah, uh, I mean, I don't really, the music doesn't bother me in this game, Paul, but it's like, it's, you know, it's fine. It's kind of how I feel about it. The, I will say this, um, the gameplay is well, odd and varied. Uh, I, I guess the gameplay itself isn't that odd. What's odd about it is the fact that like you switch between, oh damn, I fucked up. Uh, you switch from like all different cam fixed camera angles. Uh, I don't love that, but I will say that I do think this game is 
Super addicting. And um, I, I mean, look, I love like open world Mario games, I guess. I say I guess, cause it's like, I'm getting kind of burnt out on, I'm getting kind of burnt out on open world games. So truthfully, like playing something like this is kind of a nice break where it's like, look, man, this is just a level. Yikes. Like, yeah, man, stuff's gonna be hidden. There's gonna be hidden stuff. You're gonna get frustrated sometimes, but at least it's just take it one level at a time. There's not like one big open open world that you're exploring, which I get. I mean, people love that. Uh, I like it too. It's just it just kind of seems to be the big thing, you know. It's like the thing that we get now, the most of. Like I feel like experiences like this are are limited. Yeah, they have boss fights in this. It's true. Oh no. All right, I'll go get that extra life here in a sec. Hopefully it doesn't despawn or anything. I want to smash all these crates. Get the fruit out of them. All right. Come here. The Davening. The Davening. Gotta wash it a few times in the shower. No one wants a stinky winky. Yeah. It's true. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes I want a stinky winky. <laughs> I actually pretty much all the time I want a stinky winky, but... Uh, temporarily. I don't want it to be permanently. I want a permanently stinky winky. Boo. Don't get me don't get me started on shaving. That was a activity I partook in earlier today. Oh God, yeah, man, not good. I need to play Red Dead Two. I would be an ev I would be a monster of an evil outlaw. It, like I I hear all the stories about people in Red Dead Two playing like trying to play like good honorable characters, and it's like, man, I can respect that, but at the same time, that sounds like really frustrating. Like it's a it's a cowboy game, right? And it's not real life. <laughs> I mean, obviously play the game however you want to play it, right? However you find enjoyment. But I don't know, man. I don't get to like I don't get to shoot other I don't get to shoot cowboys in real life. If I can do it in a game, I guess I'd rather do it there. It's kind of like the fun of that's a lot of damn boxes. I mean, the 25 boxes or poor crash. That is a bandicoot. You thought it was just a rando white chick? Yeah, I agree. It is the best place, Dr. Drunk. The shower, for sure. There's plenty of evil people to kill. But if you don't care about the morality of the people that you're killing, then that increases the amount of people you can kill by, like, what? 100%? <laughs> We are riding a pig. It uh, takes way more concentration than it probably should. That pig is dead. We died. 
we died in a fucking tragic boar riding accident. That's a tough one. The guy, the guys with the shields. Uh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to handle that one. When I did this earlier, I think I just lucked out. Like those aren't so bad, but like this guy, this one right there. I want that crate. I want that crate, y'all. He's guarding it. He's guarding that crate that I want. I'm not gonna let him just have it. Apparently I am. Wee! Wee, wee is correct. There we go. Go around him. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant idea. Damn, I missed the crate anyway. I knew he was go aroundable. Uh, I just couldn't make it. I saw the, I see the end. All right, all right. Boom, we got all them damn crates. How about that? How about that? Go! I accidentally jumped. I knew better than that. I knew better than that. I don't know why I did it. I wasted a bunch of lives here. Lots of them. Come on, man! Come on, man. I got the. We got this. Come on. We got this. Ah, focus. I gotta concentrate. Boom. All right. We got one more to jump, right? Don't jump too early this time. There we go. Look at that. We got us a little chaos emerald. Hey, what's up? How's it going? How's it going, Elpeg? I don't think I've seen you here before. Welcome. Good to see you. Uh, my guess is goes the opposite way you'd anticipate going on. Cowabunga, we did it. No, sorry. I don't speak Spanish. I wish I did. I wish I could speak any other... I mean, I wish I could speak any other language in addition to English. But just English for me. I feel like being able to speak uh, another language would be handy. Especially Spanish. I took French in high school. Uh, have, barely have used it. Hey! Paul, thanks for the bits, man. Paul wants ice cream. Somebody get somebody get Paul ice cream. If you guys want to speak in Spanish in chat, that's absolutely fine. I'm cool with that. Maybe you could teach me Spanish while you're at it. Donde esta la biblioteca? <laughs> Essentially, if it's Spanish from an Adam Sandler comedy routine, then I know it. Spanish is just a border away from French, says Zhao. Yeah, all those romance no uh, languages, huh? I almost said romance novels. <laughs> hey, what's up, Tommy Tuba? How's it going, man? Look, I was I was keeping Jacob in check last Sunday. No one calls you Tommy Tuba, but me. Thanks for joining us, man. Flat. At least there's no fall damage. 
Tom, are you a are you a crash? Are you a crash bandicoot? Are you crash the bandicoot? Are you, are you crash the bandicoot? Have you played this game before? How many bandicooters do we have here in the in the in the chat? Lots of bandicooters. What's everyone's take on this game? Did you miss it? Like like I did? I bought my uh, I bought my Sony PlayStation in high school with my own money for one reason and one reason only: Final Fantasy VII, and then Final Fantasy games in general. For the longest time, my PlayStation was a Final Fantasy machine. It existed only to play Final Fantasy games. Other than that, I still I just played my Super Nintendo. I wasn't like a... I don't know. Yikes. Outside of PC games, first-person shooters, uh, and the like, I wasn't like a huge 3D gaming guy, I guess. Oh god, we gotta go. The guy. Goo! I missed the Lady Bandicoot somewhere along the way. Man. The Lady Bandicoot um, avatars totally look like uh, the sister from that 70s show. Can't remember her name. Can't remember the name of any of the characters, actually. Um, Fez. I remember Fez. Uh, Kelso. I remember that one. Shit. Uh, Mila Kunis. <laughs> the the redheaded chick from <laughs> uh, Orange is the New Black. Alright. I do want that. Tiki mask. Yeah, apples. Those apples can stay right there. I do want these apples, though. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. I don't know why I think uh, Crash can hang on to ledges. He can't. Lori! Lori says Dig Dougie and Paul. Bandicooter Belmont says Zal. Zal, you need to submit that as an achievement, my dude. Yeah, it's great that you don't take fall damage in this. And it makes it makes sense because this like this is such a cartoony platformer. This is like Looney Tunes level. Like when Crash dies and you see his like when he falls down a pit and his shoes come back up. It's very Looney Tunes. Okay, well, whatever. I'm not getting all those apples. That, when he burns into uh, Ash from Pokemon. <laughs> when he burns into Danny Ash. Alright. Let's just wait for it. There we go. Nope. All right, T turtles. All right. Would we'll kill the monkey. Maybe we won't kill the monkey. We'll just go around him. He's just minding his own business, you know. 
This is his habitat. We're really invading on his territory, not the other way around. I need to remember that. He'd be mindful of that. Where are the guests here? The bandicoot is the guest here. In this fortress? I burnt. I burnt alive. I'll catch you back up on chat. I'll catch y'all. I'll catch y'all in a minute. Stupid toe for grace, I see. Donna, yes, Donna. Thank you, Paul. Man, I haven't seen that 70s show in a long time. I remember Red Foreman. Uh. All right. All my concentration is needed, is required in this very crucial moment. It all comes down to this. It doesn't. Actually, it does not at all, but, but, but I can pretend it does. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's get over there. Man, I guess I just need to jump earlier on those that row of three. That's my guess. Whoa! Out of control. Damn it, Bandicoot. Come on, man. Give it the program. All right, yeah, throw your little temper tantrum. Oh my God. Yeah, the shoes come up. All right, okay. All right, we got this now, this time. <laughs> I should have waited. I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna pause for a minute. My God, okay. Mila was Jackie. That's right. I forgot about Jackie. I need to. I need to cleanse. Whoosh, whoosh. Cleansing. Oh, it's on Hulu. I didn't know that. Wait, what? Zal says, "What's the achievement, ho? What? Who are you talking to? <laughs> Who is the achievement, ho? Atropos? <laughs> Auto mod caught your typo." I can't see the auto mod in this, unfortunately. I know, man. Topher Grace playing Venom, right? Oh, what's the achievement, though? <laughs> what's the achievement, oh? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Spin move, six crates open at once. That's a possibility. Man, y'all are like on some That 70 Show Deep Cuts. That's all I need to remember. Red is literally the only one. Uh, Micah says, short jump to those three flames. Don't hit the jump button. Yeah, man, that's what I was doing, but I think I jumped too late. I think I started too late. I think it was the problem. Because I just hit the B button once to, like, you know, on the first jump. Fuck. You have the box set of DVDs. Now I just want to get through it as fast as possible. All right, that I feel better now. Take out my aggressions on that chimp. I think I need to start those. Um, those three little Bernie platforms. I need to start them earlier.
I think I'm starting them way too late. That's a problem. Problem. I guess the other thing is, like, I don't know exactly when they are, you know? Like, is this them here? Probably. Alright. Thank you, Micah. Let's get up here and get these four extra lives, please. Thank you. The game's like, oh man. I bet that was really rough for you, huh? Have some lives. Splat. <laughs> okay. What's my apple count looking like? 40? Apple dumpling gang here. Uh... I mean, I want to collect all the apples I possibly can, but... I mean, do I really, though? Do I really, though? No, I don't. I don't. Uh, I mean, I do, but I don't want to keep falling over and over again. Uh, no time limit, which I think is very... Um, very interesting. Especially since it's uh, all stage-based. Damn. I guess they uh, assumed that this was just hard enough as it was. I guess. And this is like... This is very early in the game. Okay. Okay. There we go, we got a little extra life. Alright, I'm about to get hit with 16 crates. Gee. If I hold it, I roll? I wasn't holding it, I promise. Oh yeah, I... Uh, no, I think I... Let me double check. I think it's auto-saving. I'm just covering up the crate. Yeah. Auto-save. I decided to enable it and overwrite what I previously had. Semi-sheer pokey nipple swimsuit photos. I do not know. I do not know about that. Dig Dougie says no time limit to make up for control issues that plagued early PlayStation games. G.I. Joe. Pork chop sandwiches. Previously on Fern Gully. This game needs more Tone Loke. Okay. Hey! No! I chose the wrong time to jump. Okay, we killed him. Good. Good. Because, honestly, fuck that monkey. That little Diddy Kong wannabe. That Diddy Wrong. <laughs> Tougher than it should have been. Splat. Okay. Nope. Oh. I thought I was dead. There are times in this game where I should really stop and think, uh, but I don't do it. I just press forward, which honestly is what you need to do sometimes, I think. Uh, you know what? Forget it. 
Mmm. Mmm. I done messed up. I'm out of my groove. Man, when he drowns, it is like kind of creepy, honestly, because it's like he goes limp. He drowns like super fast. Like he doesn't know how to swim at all. <laughs> Yo! I appreciate the follow. E Glisten. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for making Colossus appear. <laughs> Okay. There, take that fish. Feed me, Seymour. Alright, we got 12 lives. We got 12 lives. Seriously? I just fell off? Okay. Alright. So I just- so you just fell off a lily pad. Remember, uh, remember when Crash Bandicoot was gonna replace Mario and then he fell off a lily pad? Should've waited. I don't want to wait, though. Got 10 lives. Lives are starting to dwindle. Little mossy log. Little mossy log. Little snapping boy. Snap a few times, and then we're going to cross. Alright, I'm waiting this time. Like a patient boy. I'm waiting like a patient boy. Alright, now we're going! Time to strike is now! I lost my tiki mask. Boom. Alright, let's get some extra lives and stuff. Save the rainforest! Fell off a lily pad. That's how my grandpa went, says Doc. I, get, I bet you guys didn't know that Doc, Doc Coyote is in fact a frog. It's true. Uh, he actually started listening to Tadpog because uh, he misunderstood. He thought it was Tadpoles. He thought it was a podcast on Tadpoles. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I died. Let's do it the right way this time. Now you can see how badly my audio is not synced with my video. There's, look at her over there waiting for us. Hey, girl. No! Uh, Crash looks like he's the frontrunner of a marsupial ska band. And not a particularly good one. Ooh, Frog from Chrono Trigger is an ancestor. That's good. You're in good company, then. You're a descendant of Glenn? In the Queen? You know Glenn and the Queen. Totally. Totally had something going on, right? Uh, just kidding. I don't think Glenn would do that. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe Frog... Maybe Frog brooding over the Massa Moon, like maybe that version. 
Maybe that version would have an affair with the Queen of Guardia. But not honorable human Glenn. Man, I missed two damn crates. Micah says the caged boxes are five bounces. A lot of stuff uses a five second timer. That is good to know. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, and buy it. I mean, great, says Doc. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ripper Roo. Let her rip. There's an achievement title if you're looking for one. Let her rip. Defeat Ripper Roo. What's up, Drex? How's it going, man? All right, what's the question about the poll? I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. Okay. That's okay. That's all right. It's a learning experience. That's not gonna that's not gonna explode on him. Is it? It is not. Oh! I got him! My sheer luck. I'm dead. Uh, she wants to know, do I only have one boob? Uh, mm, I think you have both boobs. Uh, you're just missing a nipple on one. One of, one of your boobs looks like it's from a Sailor Moon transformation scene. So the, the, the meat is still there. It's just missing, it's just missing the googly eye. Does that, I'm assuming that affects her answer. Two, oh my god. To be continued, I was going to say, but... Alright, Drex says, okay, one nip it is. I'm, I'm the same, I don't want two belly buttons. <laughs> the googly eye. They found the least sexy way to talk about a breast, says Doc. Oh, I haven't even begun... ...to talk not sexy. Tommy Tubo, one nip for Tommy Tubo. One nip, please. I'm just gonna jump in the water? Drex says, what if one was an innie and one was an outie? Uh, I guess, I guess you could do that, right? I guess you could do that. And then like you could, if you were like, if you had a large enough belly, you could like connect them. You could connect the Audi inside the any like they're Lego pieces. Say, Doc says Sailor Moon is like 14, isn't she? Yeah, I guess. I don't know, man. All I know is when uh, I was watching it in middle school and I thought I might see a dirty anime titty. I didn't. I just saw a round orb. God, I jumped in the water again. Paul says, fuck, I forgot I had butter toffee almonds. This is the best day. I don't think I've ever had those before. I've had almonds before. I can't remember the pattern. Uh... Well, okay. Damn. Man, did we just Urban Dictionary Pog? <laughs> Come on, we're all adults here. We all know what that is already, <laughs> right? Boom. All right, well, okay, where's he jumping now? No one knows, 
except for everybody who's played this game. All right, so he's doing like a little T. He's doing a little T. It's tea time. All right, so he's doing his little T, which means he's not going to be coming down here. Oh no, I'm going to blow myself up. No! Nope. Okay. God, seriously? I need to pause. I need to pause and recenter. One nip, Tommy. <laughs> Your wife loves to pinch yours for no reason. Just one of them or both of them? She giving you titty twisters? Mm. Paul with the real questions, or is it a titty twister? He saw the meat, but no googly eye. Exactly. <laughs> Annoying walking past through the hallway and she pinches um, plural. Like, double snake strike. The simultaneously coolest and least cool toy of the 90s, says Doc. The Pog. Remember Alf? He's back. What am I doing? They're almonds coated in candied butter toffee. Nikki would like that, I bet. I'm not like a big, uh, I'm not a big toffee guy. There you go. Now I don't know where you're going. Hey! Sheer luck. Micah says triangle, diamond, third form? What did I miss out? I think I missed something. Triangle, T-shaped, oh, diamond, oh, his pattern. Sorry, man, I missed it. Wonder if you can send us a package of the butter toffee almonds? You feel like we'd love those. Hmm, I bet Tyler would, for sure. I'd try them. I would definitely bring some home to Nikki, Paul. She would love them, honestly. I know she would. A bird in hand is worth two in the bush, I hear. Doc asks, anyone get a chance to see the moon? That sounds like some sort of anime magic attack. In this game? Trex. Trex says I love two hands in my bush. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Please explain. The moon is nothing special. I missed something about the moon. Look to La Luna. Run, in, run into a lizard. Blood Wolf Super Moon thing? Alright, yeah, absolutely, Paul. That sounds great, man. Thank you for thinking of us. And our women folk. Man, Crash loves some apples. Crash loves some healthy, responsible snacking.
He's not carb loading like some other guy I know. M Mario. <laughs> nope. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have gone for that mask. It's big and round and made of cheese. Harry Carey would eat it. Cubs win. Mmm. Yeah, how about all that snow, right? Dr. Drunk says in my next package, I should send a giant dildo. I mean, yeah. Those things aren't cheap. So yeah, if you want to go ahead and buy those for us, that sounds great. Bats, can't stop here. That country. Sleepy time boy up there, okay. No, I wanted that extra life though. Question, get the questionable crate and be on our way. Don't know what that does. Oh well, I, I won't figure it out because I fell a great distance. Xylophone solo. Uh, so this is the first Uncharted game, huh? Okay. Alright. Alright. I don't understand why we're not shooting all these lizards in the face. If that's the case. Hmm. Two or three on on both of those. That's not great. But I do like all these extra lives we're getting. Yikes. Okay, goodbye. Maxon heard that Mario guy eats babies. We're talking full on beef sword with the hilt and everything. <laughs> Asked Paul. Asking the good questions. Dr. Drunk responds lifelike. <laughs> Dr. Drunk says lifelike, like, whoa, a little break dancing. Dr. Drunk says lifelike, like the one I sent the Sean for Secret Santa. Nine inches long and couldn't get your hands around it. Yeah, lifelike. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah, that's what everyone's is like, right? I know mine is. Yeah. <laughs> Pew. <laughs> lifelike. Doom, 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 doom. Oh shit. Alright, let's get on the center one. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Something else will surely kill me. For sure. Y'all, uh, I saw Into the Spider Verse on Thursday. Uh, wow. That is a good movie. I know everyone here has probably already seen it because it's been out like for a long time. Uh, really good movie. I don't know why I thought about that. Why that came to mind. But it did. Sometimes it's just like thinking about Spider-Man, y'all. <laughs> this stream brought to you by 
Honda, and Sony. Thank you, Frilled Lizard. Splat, okay. I do- I like the sound effects in this game. So, like, I don't love the music, but I do like the sound effects. Sound effects make it, like, very cartoony. <laughs> Dig Dougie says sound seems kind of small. E equals MC lifelike, says Max. Yeah, it would have to be squared, I think. Compared to a scuba tank, yes, it's Dr. Drunk. Hey, Dave, what you thinking about? Spider-Man. You haven't watched the movie since the first Deadpool? Damn, I don't see a lot of movies. But... But damn. That was a long time ago, man. Maxon, are you not a big are you not a big movie goer? Movie fan? I used to think that I was, and then um I realized that I'm not, uh, because I spent a lot of time on the internet. I was like, wow, a lot of people seen way more movies than me. You really picky? He used to love films. Did Deadpool, like Deadpool was, did you like Deadpool? Because it kind of seems like, was it a situation where it's like, you know what? If Deadpool's the best that the world can do, I'm done with movies. Damn. You like Deadpool? I like Deadpool too. I thought it was good. I thought it was good movie. I like the story behind behind how it got made, or uh, not made, but how it got made. I guess really. Oh my god. So then you didn't you didn't see Deadpool 2 then. Which was essentially more Deadpool. Ah! Come on, man. I was trying to jump on this crate. Also his lives. Dig Dougie, you don't watch a lot of movies either. I used to watch a lot more movies. Used to watch way more movies. Uh, and now my time is much more limited than it used to be. Um, back when I watched a lot of movies. So now, essentially, I get to choose, like, do I want to play video games or watch movies? And the answer is play video games. I want to play video games. I'd rather play a video game than watch a movie. Even if it's a bad video game. Paul says my favorite story is about Deadpool 2. Brad Pitt has a six second scene in it and only asks for a single cup of coffee for it. Yeah, I love, I love, I didn't know that about the coffee bit. But I, I love Brad Pitt and Deadpool too. Dig Doggy says you should have been trying to jump on the girl bandicoot. We gotta we gotta propagate our species. Paul says it took him longer to drink his payment than he was in the film. He should have drank the coffee in the movie. Brad Pitt always eats things in movies. That's like a that's like a cracked thing. 
they talked about, they used to talk about all the time, and it's true. Tom Hanks pees in films. Brad Pitt eats things in films. Hi, I'll just run off of this thing. Don't mind me. Hey, what's up, Crow? How's it going, man? You get bored watching movies most of the time? Uh, you did go see the new Dragon Ball movie with friends, though, and that was fucking sick. Uh, I know Tyler really liked it. I didn't see it. Um, my Dragon Ball, my history of Dragon Ball is spotty. I've gone from not appreciating it not liking it at all to tolerating it to enjoying original Dragon Ball uh, and now I'm pretty much at the point where it's like I want to watch all of this I just don't have the time animes is it, the kind of the same thing man like for me like I don't have a lot of time to watch anime either but between a movie or an anime series at this point I think I'd probably go anime uh, but I'm st video game is still number one, uh, which means there's not a whole lot of time for anything else. As far as media consumed, you know? I guess unless, unless you're counting Facebook, which is like... I don't know, y'all. If it weren't for Tadpog Nation, I know I've said this before on the show and probably here in stream. If it weren't for Tadpog Nation on the Facebook group, I would have quit Facebook years ago. Facebook's one of the. Come on, man. Facebook's one of those things where I am way happier when I'm off. Come on! Way happier than when I'm off it than when I'm on it. Slam. Dun da da, dun da da. Let the thwomps be thwomps. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's wait for the right moment. Now. Oh, God. What was I thinking there? Okay. Oh, boy. We get to start from here. All right. Light jump. Light jump, Dave. Okay. Depth perception. Uh, this stuff right here, this kind of stuff, is uh, the biggest complaint I hear about Crash games. The, um, fi the fixed camera, like, platforming, where it's like, I don't know how far away these platforms are. The only thing I've got to gauge it is my shadow. And, uh, look, sometimes that's not enough. My shadow in memory. Ugh, I should have jumped on that. Bummer. Oh no. It's all those Dr. Peppers. Tom Hanks drinks his Dig Dug. Does he drink a lot of Dr. Peppers? I don't really honestly know that much about Tom Hanks. Other than like... He's lovable. Everyone loves him. I mean, even I love Tom Hanks, I guess. I mean, it's like, I haven't seen, I can't name the last movie I saw that he was in. Big. <laughs> A League of Their Own. I don't know. Paul says the entirety of the Oceans franchise was just rusty eating, drinking something from seed to seed. Hmm. Doc just listened to an old episode where I brought up the Crack Podcast discussion about Tom Hanks peeing in many of his movies. I love it. Crow says you really have to embrace the testosterone to love a Z. 
I only watch OG Dragon Ball later in life. It's not bad. I like OG Dragon Ball. I think it's I think it's pretty funny. I like it. Um, I like that it doesn't take itself seriously. Because I one of the biggest turnoffs. This is frustrating. Okay, it's just hard to gauge where I am. <laughs> you know, it's hard to gauge where I am. I can't tell. Is that platform close? <laughs> kind of looks like it is. Thanks, thanks, immovable camera. Nothing moves the blob or the camera in Crash Bandicoot. Go. All right. Take it slow. Take it slow. Take it slow. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, shake it out. Shake it out. We got four lives. No, no problem, right? Okay. Nope. All right. We got three lives. Three lives. All right. No big deal. We got this. We got this. Watch it. Check it. Check it. This is the one. This is the one right here. Here we. Look at that. We dodged bats. We got. The, we got the mask. Just like Jim Carrey. We got the mask. We're gonna get a bunch of apples because I need I need some extra lives. Hopefully, there's a hundred apples in there. There was not. Okay. All right. This time we got it. <laughs> this time we got it. Two lives. Two lives. Two live crew. We got this. All right, the pump music from Naruto's playing now. Huh! You guys remember that time that uh, Crash Bandicoot became the Hokage of the hidden village of sand? Jesus, and I still died because I just, I'm trying to like, I don't know, man. Where do I stand on this pan? Do I stand here? Do I stand there? I got one life left. This is it. We got it. This is the one. I can feel it. <laughs> no! Alright. We have zero lives. We're in a real predicament. We're in a real predicament. Paul says the only thing I use Facebook for is Messenger. And I can just use Messenger.com instead. Yeah, I use Messenger too. Ooh. Neo Geo stuff, huh, Maxon? Cool, dude. Oh, a little yo-yo idol animation. Walk the dog action. What else we got? Around the world, yeah. You guys remember the yo-yo craze when it came back in the 90s? And <laughs> Crow says it's immersive. Crash's smaller eye is actually non-functional and results in no depth perception. Okay. I didn't realize it was lore. It was canon. Crash Bandicoot and the boys. Bongo Solo. I kind of wish I wasn't invincible. It's distracting. Oh, God. I'm being... I'm being... Looked down upon by this mask. It's laughing at me. Paul says, I have a YouTube link that I'll post in the Discord of the entirety of Tom Hanks peeing. Please. Pissing. Sorry. This is a family stream. Peeing. It's a fucking family stream. <laughs> 
Micah says the depth perception is killer. I'm glad to hear you say that. Mr. I beat the game in under four hours. That makes me feel a little better. Because it's like, I mean, I know to use this, I know to use Crash's shadow, but it's like tough, man, on jumps that are like straightforward like that. Like this, it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know how far away that is. I'm not playing this on a, I'm not playing this on a 3DS. Even if I was, I still wouldn't know <laughs> how far away it is. Get out of here, spider. All right, take me to the danger zone. So what is the story here? I mean, I assume that we're just going to save Lady Coot. Is that what, is that what this is all about? I mean, I know that Crash escaped from that lab and then, you know, they were all coming to get her. So he's on his way back to the lab? To save her? Or? I don't know. But it seems like saving her is definitely part of it. All right, let's get some apples. Okay, all right. Now we're back here to the super hard part. I don't like this part because I have to like get on the lip of this thing. And then make a weird jump. Micah says, watch your shadow. Yeah, I know, like, I know, but it's, that's like all I can do, right? But it's hard. It's hard to see it because it's like, when you're jumping, I don't want the invincibility. It just makes me rush. I guess maybe be useful on that flame. All right, we'll go straight forward here and get the apples. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. All right, kill the spider. Spin around, please. Into the darkness. Crash Bandicoot into the dark. Turn off Crash Bandicoot. Turn off the dark. Even Crash is thinking about Spider-Man. Give me those lives. Give me those lives, boy. I need them. Whoa. So, Micah, are all three games, are all three Crash Bandicoot games like this? Okay. Da, 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 is right. Sal says play it on Virtual Boy. Y'all, I really want a Virtual Boy. There have been so many times like I've seen one for sale and I've had to be like, no, don't buy the Virtual Boy, Dave. But I really want one. And one of these days, one of these days I'm going to break, although <laughs> not for another six years, probably. <laughs> Whoops, I dropped the controller. Oopsie. I was taking my socks off. Taking my socks off because it's getting hot in here. And I dropped the controller. Look at these bad boys. Look at these gray socks. Yeah, goodbye white socks. I've upgraded. Alright. Hope I don't need those. Hope my feet don't get cold. Because I just threw them away across the room.
Doc, you vividly remember a $99 yo-yo made out of like aluminum that they claim was the same aluminum. We used to make space shuttles. Yes, I remember like everything being like centered around space shuttles when I was a kid. Crow, you knew some yo-yo tricks? The forward facing jumps just get worse and worse as Micah. Oof, yikes. Paula, you wiped out, man. Micah says there's a level where you run in the dark unless you have a tiki mask. Good lord. Uh, Micah, I'm glad that you're going to be recording with us because I'm going to be ill prepared to talk about Crash, Crash the Bandicoot. Good lord. Okay. All right. Dig Dougie, you wiped out too, man. You're hoping to stream to the TV and just lurk. The app isn't cooperating. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Micah says, pause. Let me help you cheat this level. And also, all the stages are very similar across the games, but Crash 2 adds a double jump. Interesting. And ground pound. All right, I am paused. Help me cheat this level. Don't worry. Keep typing whatever you're typing. I'll be dead. I'll be dead soon. I'll catch up then. No. I was hoping I'd be far enough away. I was not. Checkpoint to Rooney. All right. What was that creature? Was that a warthog? What was that? Micah, I probably done, probably done fucked up, huh? Oh god, I probably wasn't supposed to get to a checkpoint. Jump on the ropes on the side of the bridge. It's delicate, but you avoid all the boards. Oh god. Okay. Oh man, I can't walk. Ah, I can't walk this. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick to the boards, man. I'm sticking to the boards. God, that's awesome that you could do that. Alright, Micah says do it from a light colored board. I'm scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> so just do the rest of the level like this. Dig Dougie, I've never played Gex. Although I've seen so many, I saw so many ads for Gex reading comic books. And gaming magazines. You can run. Yeah, I'm scared to, man. Oh my god. Fuck the ropes, man. That's cool, but I can't do it. Like, I'm more likely to jump off the stage like I just did. Other than again, I get gored by a warthog. That initial jump is the tough part. All right, okay.
All right, here we go. Once I'm up there, it's great. It's getting up there. That's the problem. It does not want to let me up there. Alright, checkpoint. We need that. How many lives do we have? Three? That's not super. Can't do I can't do the ropes, man. I'm killing myself more often than not. Just jumping off the rope. There's the checkpoint. It's the last life. Alright, we got another we got another shot. All right, last life, last life again. And I'm done. The Mortal Kombat gong <laughs> has rung. Yeah, we'll retry this level. Gonna need to. So Micah, every time you play this, you uh you take the ropes. Fish and mailed. Indeed, Zal. Indeed. Indeed, Arena. <laughs> Rip indeed. I'm sad that I'm I'm sad that I've died, but I'm grateful that you've used the the emote. or whatever it was, breathing heavily behind me. Mm. Always take the rope, says Micah. This level repeats two or three times in the game. And says, would have rage quit a while ago. What the hell? Oh, the Tiki Mask killed it. Ben, I take it you're not a big, you're not a big bandicooter. checkpoint was too long ago never played it smoke bomb me neither man this is my first day with it but it totally is a smoke bomb game because it's like one of those I feel like everyone's played so I'm actually Ben I'm like really fucking relieved to hear that you haven't played it All right, we, we're taking the ropes. God, these ropes. I can't get on them, Micah. I can't get on these ropes, man. Uh, 
every time I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna do the ropes. It's like, well, I fell to my death again. <sighs> Gong, bring out your dad. You were a Nintendo kid until PS2. Completely missed the Crash series. I had a PlayStation, but like I said, it was all about those Final Fantasy games. Zal, you've never played this? Crash Bandicoot? More like Trash Can Recruit. <laughs> You're waiting for me to say fuck it and hug the controller against the wall, Paul? Oh. Well, I can fake it for you if you want. <laughs> Thanks for the rip, Zal. It takes a really, really, really special kind of game for me to rage quit. And I don't think, I don't think Crash is going to be that game. <laughs> yeah, the controllers are really expensive. <laughs> ben says, motherfuck all that Warthog shit. <laughs> For real. For real. So there's two more levels like this in the game. A, Micah. So this is like the these are like the minecart levels in Donkey Kong Country. Where you get through one and you're like, whoa, man. Thank God I got through that. That was tough. And then you run into like, I don't know, five more. That are harder. If Micah says, if you want to hear some rage, listen to me play the last five stages of the game. Yikes! If Micah rages, you know that's hard. Micah, that's self promotion. I'm going to notify the admins. Oh, actually, um, that was a joke, but it does remind me. Um, hey, Zal, um, I don't really like. I haven't really like needed a mod or anything, man. But you're in here like every stream, dude. And maybe one day I will need somebody to do moderation. Like I don't know if someone comes in here being a big old asshole. Uh, would you mind if? Would you be? Would you be cool if I modded you, Zal? Sorry, admin. Please delete. Ben says you just hear Micah versus anyone playing Junkrat. It's fucking priceless. My boss is a Junkrat main. Oh, it's super cold up here. Yikes. All right. Okay. Yikes. Duh. Do not want. Bad. Bad piggy. Okay, checkpoint, we're there. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Shit, 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 shit. Sal says I mod for Drex and Danley too, so it's no problem. Alright, awesome, man. I shall smite everyone with the sword of justice. I mean everyone that deserves it. Well cool, thanks, Sal. I appreciate it, man. And I knew that was you, Ben. Fox! 
Get this guy off me. Zal, hopefully you never need to use that sword. And you you might not. Uh Everyone, everyone here is pretty cool. And I'm not like a... This channel is not fast growing by any stretch of the imagination, so... I don't get like a bunch of trolls or anything in here. God, run those ropes. Man, dude. Every time I try to jump on these ropes, I fall off, man. And it's like, why did I even jump on this rope? I just need to get good at running the ropes, is what you're saying. I need to get good at getting on the ropes. Auto mod does a pretty good job. Oh. <laughs> oh, Paul, I'm not... I'm not trying to sell myself short. It's just I don't put... I don't dedicate the time. I don't dedicate the time to this stream that I really need to in order to make it grow. I kind of just... I don't know. I kind of just like messing around on here. <laughs> you can see how over at twitch.tv slash Purdue underscore 18. I need an advid. <laughs> All right. Here we are again. Two hours into the stream. Uh, this is probably where I'm going to be for the next hour. I'm going for one more hour. And then I'm out of here. Okay. When it gets rough, I'm going to start riding, uh, running the ropes. <laughs> Anybody else hot? <laughs> This sucks, y'all. <laughs> this sucks, I can't get on the rope! It's like, man, okay, what's the trick, Micah? What's the trick to getting on the rope, man? Not hitting the rope on your way up? I hit the pig. On the bright side, you dodge that war dog like a champ, says Paul. <laughs> Spam post, 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 post. Try to be gentle with it, says Micah. Give it a little finesse. <laughs> All right, okay, okay, okay. I got, I did it once and I'm all cocky now. All right, okay. All right, I see how this is done. Actually, I think I might. I might have the hang of it now. If I stand center and give it a full jump to the right, seems good. Aim for the top of the rope. Mm. 
I had it, and then I wussed out. Okay. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting there. I don't have it, but I'm getting there. And when I see a warthog coming at me, I might freak out. Okay. All right. Come on, though. Come on, though. There we go. All right. Okay. I'm better at getting on the rope now. Not a master yet. I'm still but the learner. <laughs> I wasn't on the rope. I was on the statue. That time I'm on the rope. Oh, God. Can I... Yes! <laughs> he could go all the way. Damn, I tried to get on the rope. I shouldn't have, man, because, like... Of course that thing just falls out from underneath me. Of course it does. Dude, this level is too long. Damn it! Where do we go? This is insanity. <laughs> this is insanity! Oh my god. Because <laughs> you is one, says Ben. Uh... Mike says, only do it from light-colored boards. They can't hit you if you're on the ropes. Yeah. Oh, the boards can't? So I don't, I don't have to jump them? Am I anywhere near the end of this level? I mean, holy God. Oh, how long does this go on? Forever? Is this an endless runner? Yeah, danger. I'm minding that sign. It is. This is a dangerous bridge. <laughs> a really dangerous bridge. This bridge is not to be fucked about with. God, come on! Oh, God. Remember when I had it? I don't have it anymore. I absolutely do not have it anymore. I lost it. I had it. Lost it. Way lost it. I'm getting real close. Well, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna SD there. <laughs> Get all my lives back. I'm getting real close. At least there's that. At least there's some... At least there's the promise of progression. Where <laughs> have it's flipping 7F? What do you mean? It's seven outside, seven friggin' degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, I don't know how, I don't know what, it's colder there for sure than it is here. We're in the 30s, I think. Seven, that's a bit much. Seven, as, fuck. <sighs> as we all know, seven is an unreasonable temperature. That's why I refute, my mind refused to I believe that that was, in fact, temperature that you were talking about, Paul. All right, we're going. I was running. <laughs> A Sunday night stream staple. Force, force Gump quotes. Fell right off. 
I'm gonna feel real bad. This is my good world record speed run for this game is 42 minutes. Uh, everyone always tells me what the world record is on a, on a, on a game I'm playing. <laughs> At some point in every stream, someone's like, uh, hey man, the world record for this is you're only about a good four hours off the world record, Dave. That's un that time is ungodly. 42 minutes. Man, it was 70 degrees, Ben. God. Doc, <laughs> with the chop chop. Chop chop. Well, there's no way we're making it. Zhao, you were playing Punch Out today? All you can think about is people can beat this blindfolded. Yeah. Yeah, right. It's wild. So why were you playing punch out? Oh, you're going to watch the speed run tomorrow, my guy. Uh, I think when we record, I'm just going to gripe about the game. Which isn't like really honestly totally fair because it's like this is this is a fun experience, but it's also a frustrating one. Like it's forgiving in the reg in the regards where it's like, well, yeah, I'm dying a lot. But I'm getting to start back right from where I died. Even if that's the beginning of the level. You know? NES Classic. I got you. You watch someone live stream punch out? He got through it with, he did a zero hit run. <laughs> Star Tropical Capricorn next. Awesome. I've got an emote for that. Somewhere. I'm just gonna let this pig do his thing. I need to take a break. <laughs> I need to take a break while I, while I scroll through to try to find the Tropical Capricorn emote. There we go. See, it exists. Uh, I'm using the joystick, Micah. Should I switch to the D-pad? So we don't, so I don't stray. I did the D-pad that time and actually it seemed to work a lot better. Oh God, I was on there and then I freaked out. Try D-pad. Roger that. D-pad works a lot better. I say that, and then that happened, which is really weird because I veered to the right. I bet if I was using the Sony PlayStation controller, it wouldn't have done that because all those are just individual buttons. The Sony directional buttons weirded me out as a kid. I didn't trust them. Frankly, I didn't like them. God, so stressful, man. Crazy stressful. Okay. Gosh. Oh, Paul says I was never a fan of the Sony D-pad. Yeah, it's it. I mean, it took some getting used to. 
And honestly, by the time I really, truly, by the time I was playing a PlayStation, the Dual Shock was a thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall off of this. So I was really worried the moment I started moving, I was gonna fall. Uh, okay, Micah says before running forward, try centering yourself. I'll meditate. <laughs> I'm gonna get on the rope and meditate. Okay. I'm slipping! Uh, how many lives do I have? Oh, cool, this is my last one. No big deal. Absolutely zero pressure on this. Fuck. No, dude. No. Don't slide down the thing. Okay. All right. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, thank you. Hmm, Paul asked, should I replay this infuriated game? Hmm. All right, well, uh, I'm here. I'm here for about an hour longer, so we're just going to keep doing this for the next hour, probably. Man, I sure wish I could see. All right, first checkpoint. No deaths so far. I was really tempted to fade on that one. No deaths so far. Blech. All right, okay, get on the light colored board, jump on the rope. Run that rope. Get that checkpoint. Second checkpoint. No deaths. Yet. Up on the rope. We are running. Alright. Third checkpoint. No deaths yet. Yet. Alright. Get to that one. Jump them. Nope. Nope. Whoa. Alright. First step. I was like super sure that I was on top of that rope and I wasn't. Like, I was really confident that I was on there, because I was, like, already running forward. Okay! Alright. Okay! And now we're spiraling out. <laughs> we've spiraled out of control. <laughs> and here we are. And we're up on the rope. Okay. We're regaining control. We burned a whole hell of a lot of lives. Micah, how do you handle those sections? Do you jump over the statues like that? Like, does that work for you? Am I just not timing it right? This is pretty early on in the game too, right? Like, I'm not even like, what? Am I a quarter of the way through the game even? <laughs> you just picture me as Sisyphus now. <laughs> yeah, I made... I. I will give myself credit. I, I've gotten better at getting on the ropes. That is true. <laughs> I say that, but I mean, please someone clip that. <laughs> Jump the statues. Okay. Ah, uh, man. Okay. Ah, I'm invincible. This is not going to get me in trouble at all. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I am the Hokage. Maybe I'm still on the first island. This game is, um, I mean, I've heard people say this game is difficult. It is. I think this game is difficult. I think it is. I think this game is difficult. People say Ghosts and Goblins is difficult. I say Crash Bandicoot is difficult. Oh 
I don't want this. I don't want it. I'll just wait for it to wear off. While I try to jump on this rope. Even though, like, my speed and everything is weird now, heart make I feel like it's making it hard to get on the rope. Maybe that's just my... I don't know. Maybe it's just my own bias. Oh. Oh. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. We're running these ropes, baby. We're running these ropes, baby. I need to send Jacob a text message right now and be like, dude, fuck you for bailing on me. Because I could really use someone to pass the controller to. I'd be like, here, you fail at this for half an hour. <laughs> I need to be off the hook for just a minute. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I blame Jacob. I blame Jacob. Okay. It's his fault. That's the ticket. Oh, I'm hu hu hungry. Is Phil here? What's up, Phil? Sandwich Pope Phil. How are you, man? Oh my god. Phil, have you ever played Crash Bandicoot? Look at his gloves. Look at his cool gloves. All right. He's like, he's got hobo gloves. Oh, Crash has been riding the rails. I don't know how I did it, but I'm grateful. <laughs> Come on, man. Why do I always miss that one? I don't know, but I do. You can count on me missing that one. There. No. No, a little drifty. A little drifty poo. stretch this this tiki mask man <laughs> very punchable Phil you're tired got a long night or morning of writing to do before tomorrow's 8 a.m. deadline yikes I'm sorry yeah man I hope I hope you're able to knock that out Never played Crash Bandicoot? The No, this is a remake. This is the Insane Trilogy. Oh, this was readily available. I, I bought this, I think, for $16. There was a deal. Best Buy had a deal, and I'm like... I'm, I get like 20% off my purchases at Best Buy, which made this like $16, and it was like, yeah, that's a no-brainer. So I picked it up a while ago, and today is the first day I've played it. So I guess what I'm trying to say is my new rule about not buying video games until I'm ready to play them does not apply when it's a physical copy of a game. I'm playing this on the Switch, which feels really dirty to play this game on a not PlayStation. I love it. Okay. Phil, I think it's a really hard game. Um...
I do think it's fun. This level, excluding this level. This is a nightmare. <laughs> this level's a nightmare. Like, absolute horrific nightmare. Like, on a cosmic level. The struggle is real on this stream. It's too real. It's your fault. You could have done more writing during the week, paying the price now. I know that feeling. Micah says, maybe you should stick to the boards. No, man. Fuck that, dude. I try to do the boards for the longest time, and you're like, ropes, 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 ropes. No, man, we're going ropes. Doc says Dave's playing this game without a condom. It, that is act that is accurate. That is a true statement. No, man, I'm all in on ropes now. Ropes or GTFO? It's the name of a NSFW <laughs> subreddit <laughs> I'm subscribed to. Ropes or GTFO? All right. Uh, get on there. All right, we can do this. There we go. There we go. All right. Checkpoints. I was on there, man. I chickened out. Like a chicken. All right, cool. Another checkpoint. What? Play the game as it was intended to be played? No. We refuse. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, man. Come on. I thought I was on that light one. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. All right. Okay. Get up on there. Get up on there, Crash. Hear me, baby. Hold together. No, man. Don't slide down the blue ramp. What are you doing? Okay. All right. There we go. We are on the rope. We are going, baby. Full speed ahead. Nothing can stop us. Not even more ropes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I'm on the rope. And the dead. Can't stay on the rope. I can't stay on the rope. <laughs> Paul asks, should you be wearing a condom when you play games? Have I been doing it all wrong? That's how babies are made. That's that's a really long time to wear one. <laughs> Maybe he'd be more dexterous if he wasn't wearing jorts. <laughs> Says Phil. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Boom. All right. All right, got some apples, got a pretty little bandicoot woman. All right. We got stuff. We got a checkpoint. We got some apples. All right. Okay. Yeesh. Got a checkpoint. Okay. Nope. Missed. That's okay. We're just rolling with it. Okay. Checkpoint. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's get on the rope. Let's get on this damn rope. And let's end, end this madness. Dave. Dave. Fuck it. <laughs> Dave. 
This is mixed media. It's mixed media. Some, some, sometimes I'll take the rope. Sometimes I won't. Ah, should have taken the rope. Okay. Shine again. Shine again. Get up on there. Nope. We're sliding. We're done. Okay. Get up on there. Fucking rope, dude. Get on the rope. Get on the rope. Get on the rope, Crash. Get on the rope. Go. All right. All right. Okay. Get on the rope. Crash. Bandicoot. Mr. Coot. If you could get on the rope, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Please call me Crash. Mr. Coot was my father. All right. All right. Farthest I've been, I think. <laughs> And okay, we're jumping, we're jumping. Everything's fine. God, that scared the shit out of me. Go, 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 go. This is 100% the farthest I've been. Let's go in, let's go in here. Just go in here and forget about this level. Look, we're gonna st we're gonna spend a lot of time in here. Why is there a clam on this tree? <laughs> Woo! Ben says I wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy. Micah says new checkpoint. It's true. Let's get us some lives. I have zero right now. This is not good. Okay. This music though. We got two lives. Nine out of nine crates. Phil says, I feel that Crash needs a backwards hat and soul patch and just go full Fred Durst. <laughs> yeah. Crash Bandicoot is poochie. No, man, I don't. Want anything to do with that turtle? That was the end of the fucking level. All right, focus, focus, Dave. Focus, center that, center all that energy right here, right in the chesty, right in the chesty poo. We're getting through this shit. We're getting through this shit. It's hap it's happening. And I'm, then I'm going to end the stream. Because I want to end the stream on a high note. Me getting past this level is the equivalent of beating the game. I did it. I beat the game. I'm going to lay down for a second. I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh, shit. All right. Why are the credits not rolled yet? I don't understand. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Do I have to keep playing this? <laughs> uh, the government says that I have to keep playing this game, so I guess I have to. I just got a, I just got a text alert. I just got a text alert. Uh, yeah, looks like I got to keep playing this game. Okay. All right. I need a breather, though. Phil says, I'm enjoying that the stream is just a fraction of a second behind the audio, so I get to hear you agonizing over a death right before you die. Uh, okay, let me set a delay. Let me set a delay to the video. I'm glad you said that. How off is it? Let's see, Phil says it is... A fraction of a second. So let's see. Let me add, I don't know. Like a quarter of a second, maybe? How many milliseconds is that? <laughs> I 
It was on. It was on 520, Tommy Tuba. Now it's on 560. Uh, I might have to refresh it. So. Uh... That might be a problem. Hold on, BRB. Bloop, bloop. Okay. Maybe it'll be better now. 250 is a quarter. All right. Tommy, Tommy Tuba and Zal with the with the real facts. Uh, let me let me add a little bit more time then. How about that? I might bump it up to 650. How about that? How about that? Right. And then I think hiding it and then making it appear again refreshes it. I think Gurk told me that a long time ago. So we'll see. I don't know. Bloop, bloop. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Sorry my audio was a little bit ahead of the deaths. You beat the game. What? So, Sal, there's more? But wait, there's more. If it was already on 520, it might have been too high, says so Zal. Oh, yeah, you're right. I, I went the wrong way. One hundred percent correct. I went the wrong way. Filters. Let me go down to just flat five then. Bump, bump. This is what you came for. Troubleshooting. All right, we'll refresh that. Maybe. Mm, let me try one thing. I'm going to go into properties and deactivate and reactivate. And hopefully that works. Troubleshooting stream. Deactivate. And we got nothing. And then activate. And then hopefully I didn't just mess everything up. Okay. All right. There we go. What was the name of the rope bridge level? It was Road to Nowhere because they assumed no one would beat it. All right. So next time I die, I'm going to scream and you guys, you guys tell me if it's synced up better now. Phil, thanks for letting me know that my audio is not synced properly. It gets tricky because I use the same source for... Oh, and this. Okay. It's just... It's tricky. I'll leave it at that. Woo! Checkpoint. Praise be to Evan. Okay. Say smash when I hit the boxes for a bit. Crash smash. All right. Well, no, sure. I'll do that. Jump. 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 Apple. Apple. No. I hit one. Apple. Oh, I'm hitting them. I'm dead. All right. <laughs> what do you guys think? Better or worse than before? Oh, indiscernible. I was synced up for the apples. What? We have 100% apple synchronicity. Uh, this is a streaming first. This has never happened before in the history of streaming. We have 100% apple synchronicity. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here <laughs> and witnessing this momentous occasion. Uh, I got crushed by that ball and got stuck on it. <laughs> Thank you, Sal. I like this jam. Pop, 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 pop. I had to stop running for a second because my thumb hurt. Apples. One hundred percent apple synchronicity. My God, what power! This is not coyote, right? All right, we're running. Mm. 
You know what? At least this isn't at least this isn't that stupid bridge level. Smash crash. I blew myself up. I blew myself up with the smash crash. They tricked me. They tricked me. They sent me through a tough part and they tricked me. Oh, Micah, I missed your three. I missed your three aubergines, man, for beating the road to nowhere. I appreciate that. Aubergine hype. We got some didgeridoo action. I like that. I need to log... Clearly, I need to log more time playing Backwards Temple Run. Is that what that game was called? That's sad. I was addicted to it when it came out. Like, when games on mobile phones, like, real... I say real games, but, you know, like, not Snake and stuff. Like, when those came out, like, Fruit Ninja and stuff like that, like, I was 100% on board, where it's like, yeah, this is great. I don't play a lot of games on my phone anymore. Alright. Well, now that Road to Nowhere is over, I have a new level to agonize over. Clearly, it's this one. But at least, thank God, I don't have to jump on stupid ropes. Yeah, whatever. I'm not getting that. Goodbye! Come on, man. I rigged that TNT to blow up that sphere. I almost called it a boulder, but it's not really a boulder. It's a big old... It's just a big old ball. World's largest ball bearing. It's a tourist trap. Fuck. My thumb... Slipped off the stick. This is hard. I gotta keep my thumb on the stick. Ben says, fuck a dude at this game. <laughs> Micah says, I will pay to see you play this, Ben. Phil asks, can't crash, just leap to the side? There are many openings that he can pull himself onto and wait till the boulder to pass. Woo. A Crash Bandicoot tabletop game? Yes, please. Micah, do you use D-pad for this or uh, analog stick? Blind jumps. Oh, my favorite. Just the leap of faith after leap of faith. We did it! We did it! Whew. At least it's not a bridge. Look at this! Look at that! Look at that thumb! Look at- can, I don't know if you can see how hurt, how hurt it is. You use the analog? Man, it killed my thumb. Phil says, a large boulder comes crashing down along a grooved path that you are in. I step out of the grooved path. Fuck. <laughs> That's all the content I had for the next hour. Loading the Wumpa Islands. Sunset Vista! Please don't be a bridge level. Loading Sunset Vista. Hint! Want old school controls? Try the directional buttons. I guess, yeah. I guess the DualShock wasn't out when this game released. 
right? This is a pretty early... This is a pretty early PlayStation game, right? 96, is that right? Okay. We have two lives. I'm sure that's plenty. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be enough to get us through the game. Now that we're past that nasty bridge level. I saw you back there, boxes. Thought you could hide from me. Yes. No. <laughs> no. Okay. It is lizard. It is other lizard. <laughs> they are twins. You ask one lizard, he want <laughs> mealworm? They both say yes. <laughs> I'm almost to the end of the first island. There's three islands. Woo! But the third is double long. Yikes! Yes, friends. I'm so sorry. We are. I didn't expect to finish this tonight, but we are 100% not finishing this tonight. But I do own the game, so uh, I should probably finish it. Playing it with the Pro Controller has been so much easier than playing it in handheld mode. Although handheld mode was fun because I could essentially do it while I did a bad job parenting today. Um, so I guess everything has its drawbacks. They are twins. Okay. Although Henry enjoyed watching me play Ghosts and Goblins more than Crash Bandicoot. Which really surprised me, because Crash Bandicoot is, like, really, like, cartoony. But, like, I don't know what it was. Last night I was playing Ghosts and Goblins, and he got giddy. And I was like, I'm really proud of you. <laughs> I think he just likes saying Ghosts and Goblins. I think that's what it is. Uh, and the stage that I was on has a lot of blue in it. I don't know how to get it. I don't know. It's it's not worth it. And blue is his favorite color. So. so when he saw it, he was very, ooh, ghosts and goblins. Yeah. My dad plays the blue game. Son of Beach. Is my fursona Crash Bandicoot? No, my fursona's uh, Disney's Robin Hood. <laughs> You're surprised they took that they took into account extra live whoring? Once you get an extra life, that box becomes a question box. Yeah. It is interesting. That's how it is in the original, I'm assuming, right? When are we getting a Crash Bandicoot movie? Uh, I, w I hope we find out that the Sonic movie is actually a Crash Bandicoot movie. <gasps> That's water, Dave. You can't go down there. You'll be a drowny boy. <laughs> Doc says, I see Dave likes the Cadillac of Personas. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> That's the movie that always gets credited to, like, turning a generation on to uh, furries. That That's what I hear. That's why I mentioned it. I love that movie as a kid. And, like, I get it. I mean, Maid Marian, right? I get it. I get it. But on the on, on one hand, I get it. On the other hand, I don't. Uh, but on both hands, I'm fine with it. It's just whatever. I mean... Speaking of whatevers, uh, we... Tyler and I totally did the, uh, 
waifu pillow shoot for Patreon this weekend, uh, and it was glorious. Be patient, Dave. Try being patient. Try learning the pattern before you just rush out in front of these blocks. That pattern's pretty easy. <laughs> it comes out, it goes in. Damn. I messed up. Ben Schwartz is doing the voice of Sonic. Yeah. You think we could do better than that for Crash Bandicoot? Uh, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt is Crash Bandicoot. I'll go see that. Who is my waifu pillow, Zal? Excellent question. Deedlet, uh, who Nikki called Zelda, and I almost divorced her. <laughs> it's Deedlet from the record of Lotus War. Do you even know me? <laughs> Shit. Very good question, Zal. Whoa, he's not... He's not cloaked in shadow this time. <laughs> he looks like a like if Toucan Sam was a superhero, this is his art. This would be his arch nemesis. So this is the bad version of the mask, I guess. Like I know one of them's named Yuka, right, and the other one's named Aku. I don't know who is who though. Dude, Larry King doing his Sonic the Hedgehog voice is the fucking best. I'm not... Zal, Zal, I'm not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> I'm, not allowed, I'm not allowed to talk about... I'm not allowed to talk about it. Uh, Tyler's waifu pillow was uh, Chocolata from Nekopara. So we done we done did the thing. So those will be coming soon. As soon as the photographs, as soon as we get, I get, I have the photographs. Larry King doing Sonic is one hundred percent a thing, Phil. Uh, Paul Korn posted it in Tadpog Nation like a long time ago. Pew, 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 pew. Come on. Yeah, I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to talk about it, so. <laughs> I, please, let's just leave it at that. I'm not allowed to talk about it. I totally won the waifu pillow contest, it's true. Alright. Uh yeah, I I guess I got the tiki mask. How much longer am I playing? For fourteen minutes. <laughs> You're trying to stay up for a full stream, but you gotta get up early as fuck. Yeah, man. Dude, I appreciate your help. I mean don't stick around on my account. Like, I get it, dude. Gotta go, you gotta go. You have been here pretty much the full stream. Have you been pooping this entire time? You should go to the doctor. Oh no, that was poorly timed. Talk, I'm not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> Van says this part called Fucked by Bat. 
Yes, this is the name of that. This that is the name of this level. Fucked by bat. What did he say as he was drowning? This is your first non-poop stream. Woo! Yes. You're earning. You're earning that burger badge tonight, my friend. I love it. Alright, let's get our happy ass on this thing. Is this the farthest we've been in this level? So far, I think it is. No. I remember this part now. I'm not even gonna go for the thing. I mean, I want to because I want to know what's there, but maybe nothing's there. Maybe it's a noob trap. I don't know. Okay, these just straight up come... I mean, it looks pretty simple. How about this? Looks like he's just coming out. Big old three blocks. Three block boy. Alright, here we go. Okay. Alright, trying to get fucked by bat. Follow the lizard. Kind of reminds me of the rescuers down under. Alright, let's watch this one. Alright. So when they're all, all three of them are out, then we'll go. Yeah, okay. Got it. Okay. Now what? Now? Yes. Okay. Boom, boom. Checkpoint Arena. I've also- whoa! Incinerated. I've also got like VIP badges to assign, so I need to figure those out. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is, I think Ankh- Ankhbot, now Streamlabs chatbot, I think I've got it set up to log everyone's hours they've spent on the stream. I think I'm gonna base VIP badges on that. All right. So many apples. I probably should have jumped on those. I don't know what's going on back there. Hey, we got an extra life though. Okay. No, that was bad. Hey, what's up, Hero Eyes? How are you? I don't think I've seen you in the stream before. Welcome. Are you a, are you a Crash Bandicoot fan? This is my first time playing a Crash Bandicoot game. I'm not good at it, but it is strangely addictive. Is there a way for y'all to see that? Uh, you know what? I'm not sure. Outside of me just telling you. Which I'm happy to do. Zal, if I can remember how to access it. And honestly, when it switched over from Ankhbot to Streamlabs Chatbot, it might have messed those logs up. I don't know. But I'm happy to look. VIP badges are one of those things where it's like, oh, right. Uh, I, those are when they were new. It's like, oh, yeah, better do that. And then I never did. And then kind of forgot about them until today. Yikes. Okay. Oh, man, that was out for a really long time. Okay. Alright, if I go, like, as soon as those little diving boards come out... <laughs> I gotta jump! I gotta jump! 
That sucked. That sucked. And then says, fuck by bat, turn into fucked by spinning platform. Yeah. Yeah, everything, everything is out to kill me in this game. Makes sense, I guess. All right. Try this again. We're gonna make it after all. We can do this. I don't know how close I was to the end of the level, but I feel like surely we were close, right? Ish. All right, see you, Micah. Thanks for hanging out so long, dude. We'll catch you tomorrow when we record. Uh, this is th this is the part of the stream where it's like, well, do I actually stream longer than I intended to? Because even though this game is destroying me, uh, it is addictive. I told Nikki before I started streaming, I was like, I know I can't beat this game in one sitting, but I can't promise that I'm coming to bed. <laughs> Which, sadly, I do need to go to bed. I've got, uh, I'm getting pretty, pretty, pretty swamped at work. Like, it's getting really... It's getting scary for Davy Poo at work. Lots of projects. All, like, big publications, too. So it's like... I mean, I shouldn't say all big publications. Like, there's smaller jobs sprinkled in there, too. But, like, they're just on the top. Where it's like, hey, you got a whole, you got a whole bunch of big projects? Well, guess what? Got a whole bunch of little shit <laughs> that needs to be done immediately. Holding you back from doing the big stuff. Yeah. I do have... <laughs> I do. I do have work tomorrow. I don't... Do not get holiday pay. No. I mean... I don't... No, I don't. I was about to say I don't think I do, but I never have. Not for, not for Martin Luther King. For Martin Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Nikki's got the day off. I wish I had the day off. Like I really wish I had the day off. But it would just put it would just push those projects. Those projects I was talking about. If I had the day off, it would just push those projects back all one day. And it would just mean the rest of the week would be that much worse. If I were in a different career, I might have had two months off. Yeah, I know it's true. It took me a moment. To realize what you were referencing. But yeah, you're right. <laughs> I do like getting paid, though. Like, that is... That is a thing that I absolutely need. <laughs> Money. All right. Yeah! Man, if I didn't need money, though, it'd be pretty sweet. That's where I should go. I should go. I should have went there. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it. I'm gonna wait for it. Practice the jump button. I'm not gonna do it here. I'm gonna wait for it to pop out. Here it comes.
There we go. Okay. Study, 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 study. All right. We got an extra life. That's nice. Hey, we can use that. I'll need that. Oh, why did I just... I just jumped into the bats for no reason. Is there anything this way? No, just bats. Just death in the form of a bat. Shit, I'm scared. For, for good reason. I leapt before I looked. God, what a long level. They're getting longer. Is that a... Look at the top left. In that block, is that like a pictogram of a lich or something? It's like a skeleton with a crown on it. I'm digging it. Oh god, no. I'm about to say, wait for that little guy to poke on out. Okay, checkpoint. That's good. There's that up. There's a block up there that. I mean, I can't see anything back here. There's a block up top that I guess I should have used the lizard. Should have launched off the lizard to get this up here. So. I don't know. Next time, maybe. So long! This level's so long! Alright. We'll go... now? That's what she said! Thank you, Sal. No! Okay, let's just watch these for a minute. <laughs> okay. Thank God there's not a timer. Okay. When they're both out. <laughs> now, right? No. Yes. No. <laughs> They're so fast. Uh, okay, so... Uh, well, the fact that these things are up top makes me be like, Man, uh, I can get on top of these blocks. I would have made this so much easier. See, and that's just gonna... No, okay, that is how to do it. Okay. That is how to do it. I was gonna say that's just gonna shunt me off, but it's not. So now... No. There we go. All that! All that to die right there. Uh, I was overthinking it. Hey, what's up, Chocto? How's it going, man? Yes, the tables have turned. The first stream of yours I ever saw you were playing this game. However, I'd like to point, that, point out that you were at an advantage because you had played these games before. This is my first day. <laughs> first day on the job. This is my first, first day on the job as a bandicoot. What's up, Mike? How's it going, dude? Thanks for joining us, y'all. Good to see y'all. That was scary. That wasn't, I mean, that wasn't scary at all. Oh, 
Oh, Chalk just says Crash 1 is the hardest of the three, if it makes me feel any better. Dude, I struggled on this bridge stage. Like, I'm. this is like the... I'm still on the first island, man. I've been at this for probably about three hours. Uh, that bridge... Uh, that bridge stage was brutal, dude. How's the bandicootery going, Mike? Bander, bander cuttery? It's going okay, and by that I mean the game is, the game is destroying me. Yeah, I don't know what that one's all about either. Did it spawn? Oh, okay, it spawned all those. I see now. Crash Bandicooter Belmont. Yeah, Chocto. Micah was in here because Micah just beat this game. Um, he's going to record with us. And he beat it uh, in just under four hours today. Uh, but he had played it before. He was just kind of refreshing. So he is going to be our uh, ringer. When we're talking about the game. Because I won't be able to talk about much other than frustration. But uh, on the bright side, damn, on the bright side, I was able to figure out that I had a, my video delay was not right, <laughs> thanks to the bridge level, because every time I die, ah, everyone knew it like a half, half second, quarter second before they saw it happen on screen. Thoughts on the game so far? It's a, it's addicting. I like that. It's got an addicting quality to it. Uh, or an addictive quality to it, I guess. Which is it? Addicting? Addictive? But, I, I like that. Um, I don't want to stop playing the game. I do have some complaints about the game. Uh, like, the fixed camera, man, is, like, really rough sometimes. Because it's like, on, like, I was playing this temple level where it's all dark, right? Uh, kind of dark. And, like, I have to make these forward jumps when the camera's behind me. And it's like, I've got no, like, depth perception other than Crash's shadow. So it's like, and you only see his shadow when he's jumping. And his jumping is like, you know, just a, it's not floaty. So it's, like, really tough. If I make it to the second game, I'll enjoy it way more. Sal says play Crash 1 until it makes you want to go play Castlevania 3 instead. Was that the achievement that you submitted, Sal? I haven't been watching this. I haven't been paying attention to this. Didn't need to. Just wing it. Alright, so I need to get down to those guys down there. Okay. Hey, there's a box. <laughs> I can't, I probably shouldn't get there from there. What's in the box? God, I have to do this again. I'm paying for my foolishness. It should have been though, you'll resubmit. Editing a video on Wii Fit Trainer. So my yeah, my pain is keeping you company. Well cool man. Thanks for uh thanks for hopping in while you're while you're editing. I've been enjoying all of your all of your Smash Brothers content on YouTube, dude. Okay. All right, I can do this. Oh God, I got a late start. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm going. Extra life. Look at us. Our fancy extra lives. And our tokens that we're collecting for some reason. Now, can I make it back on here, though? Barely. The answer is yes, barely. I don't... 
All TNTs, eh? Okay. Not how you do that. <laughs> we'll try again. And again. And again. They're coming eventually. Well, hey, man, like, Smash seems like a really good game to, like, focus on. Because, like, there's so much content in it, right? I guess if one explodes, it counts all of them, right? So I don't have to hit all of I don't have to hit each one individually, is my guess. I should stop doing that. Okay. What's up, Nathan? How's it going, dude? Team One Nip, checking in. I'm with you, dude, and I'm Team One Nip as well. Doctor says you have to Mario it and press jump when you take off. Yeah, that's not launching me over. Do I still need to spin? Do I need to spin and hit the uh, hit that column? I'm glad you're doing good. Man, knock off Mario. I don't know about that. There we go. I have and I have to hit it from the top. If I hit it from the bottom, it explodes the floor. Yeah, so I was saying you have to punch the top block. That's right. There we go. I wanted to... What? A key? What's the key do? I haven't gotten a key before, I don't think. Crash Bandicoot Coo! Nathan, have you played a... Have you played a Crash Bandicoot before? This is my first time. Like a virgin. Crashed for the very first time. Yeah, let's do this one too. Do this all the bonus levels. Oh, it hit all of them. Okay, I didn't expect that. All right, the more you know. Not since they were originally coming out on the PS1. See, I missed them. I missed them on the PS1. So this is day one, day one on the job. <laughs> it might be the last day on the job. I don't know. I'm not gonna finish it tonight. So it's kind of one of those where it's like, if I finish it, it'll probably have to be off stream. And it's like, but if I'm playing a game off stream, I'd honestly rather be playing Ghosts and Goblins. I've been on a Ghosts and Goblins kick, man. Uh, it's the game of the month over at Retro Gaming Monthly. And um, I mean, you guys know me. You know I love Ghosts and Goblins. Um, I've been practicing with the torch. Uh, and I've been practicing some speedrun strats, too. I don't have them down yet, but I'm a lot better than I was, which is exciting. I'm not speedrun ready, and I may never be, but uh, it's it's fun using like the magic elevator. I've learned how to do that. I can't do it 100% of the time. But like just knowing that I, you know, it's one of those where it's like, oh, I did the thing and I can do it like, I don't know, 40% of the time. It's better than before where it was like zero. GNG &G, SP edition. Woo! The Ghosts and Goblins like SP is like the worst one. It's like insulting because it's like they put you in front of the boss, right? W with the knife. Okay. Uh, and then they still make you do the second loop. So, I mean, whatever, I guess. 
Yeah, it is insulting. Now, the Ninja Gaiden one, where they just put you in front of the boss, I mean, that's less insulting. What's Okay, so how do they do the Dr. Mario SP? Because I don't know. I haven't, I haven't done that one. Koala Kong. Don't call Nintendo. Koala Kong. I don't remember that one. He's not, he's not the one with the surfboard. That's funky. Yeah, what is the Dr. Mario one? Well, I get, I'm going to get uh, my ass handed to me by this koala bear for a hot minute. Whoa! Strong boy, skip leg day. <laughs> He's like the opposite of me. I'm all legs. It's awful. Just play it and I'll see. Okay. Do I need to spin? I mean, I guess the answer is yes, kinda. I don't know how I heard him though. All right, Nathan says, Dr. Mario basically drops you off at the level 20 on a high speed and just wants you to beat it from the end with some shitty blocks already in your way. Doc says, half man, half machine, all leg, robo Dave. <laughs> Nathan, you've beaten it, but you don't feel good about it. Yeah, I got some big old legs. <laughs> I wish I wasn't bottom heavy, but I am. It's on le it's level 20 on high so you can get the best ending. I I mean sure. But <laughs> But you can start at level 20 on high in the regular version, so Zal. So there's really absolutely no point. Okay, so this is a big rock. I don't know what that means. For the strategy, I just know it's a big rock. So they have all but eight viruses cleared out for you. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. Oh, okay, that's what we do. I just missed them. And I'm sure when I hit them, more TNT boxes are going to show up. More than I can handle. Hit them while he flexes, I guess. Okay. All right, strong boy. Two down, two to go. I figured out the fight, at least. There's those extra boxes. They're still coming! Damn, I missed them. Okay, gotta go through that again. This is very, like, I don't know, chill boss music. Damn it. It's like smooth jazz boss music. Uh, excuse me. I know you're trying to fight this boss, but could you hold? Do you mind if I put you on hold? Damn. Whoa, Micah's back. Welcome back, Micah. I decided to keep playing. At least for a little bit. Maybe once I beat this boss, I'll move on. I don't know. Maybe. The game's addicting. The game's addicting and streaming is fun. But I do have to wake up for work. 
Soon. <laughs> Soonish. The next three hours. That would be awful. Man, okay, so he's... I didn't even realize I had the mask. Okay, so the minecart was blocking. There we go. All right, one more hit. Of course, now I'm going to be bombarded with TNT blocks. So, Dr. Mario SP uh, is very, very bad, says Nathan. Uh, Zal says, so basically, it's beat level one on high speed and get the best ending. Nathan says, Koala Kong shakes his ass like he's ready for it. Mike has got the hot tips. You wanted to see me clear an island? Wait for the mine car to clear. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We can do this. Come on. We got past the bridge level. There's nothing we can't do. Jesus. Jeezy crazy. Come on. Yeah, I didn't wait long enough. But it looked, like, it looked like he was moving anyway, honestly. Come on, man. I got hit. That's bad. But not as bad as getting a TNT block dropped on me. Okay. Okay. Come on. You're a giant koala. It's not good news when I take a hit that early. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't jump. He does stay there for quite a while. That's good. Now I can kind of chill a little bit. I gotta remember that spawns in the middle. That drops in the middle. That's messing me up. Yes, he does skip the hell out of leg day. Get out of the middle. <laughs> All right, there's two. We still got the mask, which is nice. <laughs> Never mind. Forget I said anything. I wasn't even paying attention to the carts. Alright. Looks like we only have to hit him one more time. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, okay. TNT crate. All right. Okay. Us. I don't know, man. I do like his mustard yellow pants. Those are pretty, pretty sweet. 
<laughs> they're sweet and literally tight. Okay. Throw the big rock already. There we go. Okay. Don't say anything about masks or anything. Don't say anything, Dave. Come on, man. I thought I cleared that minecart. Damn it. All right, one more. Although shit's gonna get crazy now. With TNT blocks, Turner Network television blocks and all that. Please be dead, please be dead. You have more forums? We did it. That was way harder than it should have been. Loading the Wampa Islands. Hey, made it to Island 2. Easy peasy. Three and a half hours later. Yikes. Thanks, Mike. Bye, Koala Kong. You were a brave koala. Says Nathan. Thank you, Zhao, for the GG. Appreciate it. I should end the stream. I don't want to. Work dumb, for real. Um, but I need to. You beat the gay island, too. I'm gonna get out of here, y'all. I don't want to, but I, I, if I don't stop now, I don't know when I'll stop. I'll never stop believing, though. I would like to say that... One nips, one for the would you rather. Would you rather have one nipple or two belly buttons? One nip with 12 votes, 71% has taken it away. Two belly buttons, five people voted for two belly buttons. I wasn't one of those people. In fact, I didn't vote at all, but because I want to keep it, keep it nice and clean. But, but for the record, I would have been one nip for sure. Uh, let's see. Normally I see who is streaming that I know and love, but I think what I'm going to do instead this time, I'm curious if anybody else is streaming the Insane Trilogy. Yep, there are other people streaming it. Uh, here's a person I don't know anything about. It looks like they might be speedrunning. Crash one, all gems, speed runs. So we're gonna go over here. Uh, let's not use the porn, the porn of link deleted like we normally do. Uh, <laughs> Chalk just says stop before you lose your sanity. Micah says, and now I'm really going to bed. See you, Micah. Nathan says I'm gonna go play Dead Cells in bed like an adult. Good on ya. Have fun with that, man. <laughs> Zal, are you disappointed that the stream is ending? All right, I'm getting this raid going. Oh, are you disappointed that we're not using the Pornhub link deleted? Yeah, we need to figure out what we're going to say when we go in there. It's fine. Everything is fine. Uh, just say hi. Just say hi. Good luck on the speed run. They're speed running, so we probably don't want to blow it up, right? Just say hi. We'll just say hi. <laughs> hey, hey, how's it going? Good luck on the speed run, Cameron. All right, here we go. We are raiding. Raid. Cameron. Now that you're a mod, you can post those wherever you want. You can post. I mean, sure. <laughs> Why not? 
<laughs> I don't know. If it won't get me in trouble, sure. Do what you want. <laughs> All right, we are raiding. Y'all, thanks for hanging out. We got past the first island. I don't know if I'm going to stream any more of this game, but I will be back next Sunday. At least that's the plan. I don't know what I'm going to be playing, but I'll be back playing something. Um, and I'd also like, I don't know, man. I've been playing a lot of Ghosts and Goblins. Maybe I could stream some of that too. I don't know. I always want to stream more than I can. I'll just put it that way. You guys know how it is. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Really appreciate it. I'll catch y'all uh, on the flip side. Thanks for all the biddies. Thanks for all the subs. Thanks for the follows. You're the best. Good night. We are raiding. Raid now. And end stream.